Hello everyone, welcome to KSR Data Vision. Myself SI Babu. Today I am going to explore about what is DAX Info View functions in Power BI. So as part of today's agenda, so now I am going to explain about is this uh, DAX Info View functions and uh, how it is useful in our real time. So and uh, later we will uh, explore a few of the important functions that will be helpful for Power BI developers. So let's jump into the Power BI desktop so if you see this is power bi desktop so here i created one poc customer journey analysis project so in this actually we have a lot of tables if you see i have created measures table and there is one calculation group and there are some i pulled uh, covid 19 data also and uh, i pulled uh, superstore data also then later uh, i have some other data also uh, let's jump into the data model so here if you see in the data model this is the data model this is the bank churn fact project uh, star schema model and uh, it is in the import mode if you observe and this dim match summary this and all actually i pulled directly from fabric data sets so it is here the storage mode is direct query mode here if you see the superstore data set is the also direct query mode it is i pulled from my uh, on premises sql server and like this this is one of the data set it is i pulled from power bi data sets from the fabric environment it is also in the uh, direct query mode so first let's jump into the practicals if we see here we have a option called dax query view so click on this so here if you click on this let me close this so if you click on this here we have a command bar is there so first i'll tell you why uh, this dax info function is came into the picture and what is the requirement so here if you see i have a lot of tables and a lot of measures and a lot of calculated there is one date master table is also there so if there is a requirement from my client or my team lead so how many tables are presented in the current power bi report file and from where I got those tables and what are the measures I written and what are the measures formula and if I created any row level security roles how many row level security roles are created so this and all if they need initially for that we are using a third party tools now the feature came up into the power bi desktop by microsoft people so first we will see we will write one function info dot tables so if i select info dot tables and i can close the bracket if i run so let me expand this here if you see there are some uh, details are there id modal id name name means this is the table name the power bi itself generated one id for this table and th the data category actually for this i didn't classify the data category but th this date master it is taken automatically it's a time data category so here if you see is there any table is hidden let's cross verify check image url so where is the image url yeah image url here see yes is hidden s yes. then this is the table storage id so when it was modified the structure modified time then is it private table so like this some lineage view tag is there some source lists this and all here we can observe so next let's write the info dot measures now i want to see the how many measures in this uh, power bi file so if i run this one so if you see here the id is given here the table id so let me clarify you i'll open one more query here i'll tell you evaluate info dot tables so let me run this so if i run this first let me go to query one here what is this table number 2578 here measures table one 2578 total customers measure so total customers measure let's check the total customers measure so for this i'll go to the visualization pane here i'll check this total customers if you see count of bank churn fact customers id here if you can see the same formula here it is displaying so if you have 100 of measures then it will show 100 measures the what is the formulas and if you mentioned any description of the measure it will appear here so then it will show also format string it is which format string it is it is defined is it the measure hidden and uh, what is the modified date what is the structure modified date and uh, currently under which folder it is displaying it is displaying under this bank project folder so this is how you need to check the complete DAX measures details in the DAX query view. So next let's uh, write the uh, columns info dot columns info dot columns. Now let's check info dot columns. Let me run this query. So if I run, 
so here it is giving table id in that table id actually there were uh, some certain default columns are there you can ignore this there were some this credit id category id so what is the this explicit data type is that hidden is unique and uh, what is the alignment table detail position so what is the source column so if you are pulling from suppose any sql server or uh, google bigquery what is the exact source column so and there were a lot of options are there is this available in mdx and uh, modified date time refresh time see here it is showing refresh time also like this you can check this info dot columns now next uh, let us check is there any calculation group evaluate info dot calculation groups yes let me run this query so if you see already i have only one calculation group so it is also coming from table id this one so 8288 let us check what is this 8288 uh, table so this is calculation group the, the same uh, whatever the we created calculation group the power bi itself considering as a table so when it was modified this and all it is showing so next we can check the relationships how the relationships is there so evaluate let me paste that query let me run this so here it is showing the relationships let us check id this is the model id name it is taking some name is the relationship is active or not type then let's drag to right side here from table see here you can observe from table from column id from cardinality to table to column id to cardinality let's check 644 to 12 so first let us see what is the 644 644 is the bank churn and 12 is the active customer let us check uh, keep remember bank churn fact and active customer dim bank churn fa fact and active customer churn see this is the relationship let us verify so in the query file so it is showing 644 column id 661 from cardinality 2 so from table is 644 so what is the from table 644 644 is the bank churn so in the bank churn what it is showing cardinality is 2 and uh, it is going to the two table id 12 and cardinality is 1 so 2 means i think i am suspecting it's a many it is 1 so that's why it is showing many to 1 so then next uh, the state this, the relation it is generating some relationship like this you can check this all the details in by using this relationship for view function then next finally we will check roles so whatever the roles we are creating in the power bi desktop let me run this query so here actually i created some uh, rls roles in the uh, this uh, desktop it is displaying so what is the role name so if i given any description it can show here so what is the modified date and here so this is how you need to use the dax info view functions i am telling you it is very very helpful for a lot of tables we have a lot of n number of measures in that case if client asks to get the what are the tables presented and what are the measures presented in the power bi desktop file this will be very very helpful just simply if you want to let's say uh, here you can go if you want to copy this you can copy entire table go to here just simply click on enter data so simply here paste so give this is the table full details just simply load it if you load it then i think it's loading let it be loaded so 23 rows added if i go to here so table full details see here so from this you can build any report these are the tables this is the modified time this is the structured modified time like uh, this is a data category if you want you can give a description so if you are looking for where it was uh, presented there is a official documentation from microsoft so this is the url we will provide this url in the description link so you can go through this video so here we have uh, almost lot of dax info view functions are there i would say around 52 dax info view functions are there in this these are the commonly and widely used info view functions info dot tables info dot columns and info dot measures and one more thing here you can remember let me show you so let me go to the report view just because it's showing in a table format i'll select table so measures details the table name 
info dot measures okay now i am clicking okay see the function info dot measures cannot be used in this expression of a measure calculated car or calculated i think you wondered why it is throwing error here see if you read this documentation they are clearly mentioned let me show that to you they are clearly mentioned see one thing you cannot do with these functions is use them in the calculated tables calculated columns and measures this will show error if you try so you should not see them in the dax formula bar intelligence actually this is try presently we are seeing that's why they edited the comment the info functions will show in the dax formula bar intelligence but they may result in an error when used so try to avoid this functions in the dax formula for you can use it in the dax query view only from here you can copy whatever you want you can go to visualization file and you can in, click on entry data later you can paste it and you can analyze it so try to avoid these functions in the dax formula bar so a part of this if you need any information go to this dax info view so you click on this model view so here also you will get the same information how many calculation groups are there so how many relationships are uh, presented in this file and what are the roles i created see these are the east role france role if you see east role this is created on the sup sttb so let me summarize this what today we discussed so today we primarily focused on what is dax info view functions in power bi i clearly explained what is the uh, info view functions in the power bi why we will use and what are the major functions we are currently using in our real time so this is about uh, dax info view functions in power bi i hope you like this video so please like comment share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel we'll see you in the next video thank you thank you all